Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Rachel Elliott, and together with my colleague, Lynn Heilman, we're so delighted to welcome you to Tupple's premiere of two recent works. They were actually, they came to us back in 2020, thanks to the Dark in the Song bassoon composition prize. We received works from over 20 composers from around the world. And of those, we um, ended up with four um, wonderful pieces, three honorable mentions and our prize winner, which we'll share with you later. So we wanted to share um, a couple of these recordings with you now. One is called Toil by Jamie Lee Sampson. Jamie's a composer in Western New York, and she teaches composition and entrepreneurship at SUNY Fredonia. She's also a bassoonist and an author of a wonderful resource for bassoonists on extended techniques and multiphonics in particular. Um, so it's really a treat for us to get to play a piece for bassoon written by a bassoonist. It doesn't happen that often. <laughs> and so Jamie, knowing the instrument intimately, manages to incorporate some really beautiful techniques from timbrel trills at the beginning. You'll hear these little coloristic changes in, in the sound that we make. And of course, some multiphonics. And she approaches them so beautifully, illustrating this O, oh, this sense of a cauldron um, stirring in the cauldron. And she does that by establishing a high pitch and then having us bend that pitch until it breaks into a multiphonic and then gradually return to that individual high pitch. And so these, some of the characteristics that the bassoon um, does really well and beautifully and different than some of the other instruments really, um, Jamie can just capitalize on it. And um, I think you'll enjoy, sometimes Lynn is a soloist, sometimes I'm a soloist, but very often we're uh, chasing each other in a heterophony. Sometimes we're in rhythmic unison. And sometimes we have a really thick, rich counterpoint going. The title, Toil, is actually inspired by this, which you may or may not recognize. Let me give it a try. Round about the cauldron go, in the poisoned entrails throw. Toad that under cold stone days and nights has thirty-one, sweltered venom sleeping got, boil thou first in the charmed pot. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Fill it of a fenny snake in the cauldron, boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's legs and howlet's wing. And of course it continues, and the witches continue to stir the cauldron. So this is the imagery that Jamie is calling to mind with her piece, Toil for Two Bassoons. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jamie. We really appreciate your wonderful contribution to the literature for two bassoons. Um, we hope other bassoonists will continue to learn this wonderful, um, very fun and evocative piece. And we especially just love the way you incorporate some of these effects uh, in such an artful and beautiful, subtle fashion, really. So our next piece is the winner of the 2020 Darken the Song Bassoon Composition Prize. And as you can imagine, we had to postpone our premiere and postpone our premiere. And finally, last year, we said we're going to record it instead to make sure we get it out there. Um, and sure enough, a whole year later, <laughs> we finally get our mixing and um, video put together. And we are thrilled, excited to share with you J.P. Dreblo's Les Blinde, or The Armored Ones blind. JP will speak to you in just a moment about the piece a little bit more, but I wanted to just give you the overview that it is a four movement work for two bassoons and he writes what might be a Baroque dance suite with an Allemand and a Courant and a Sarabande and a Gigue. Four little movements. But the language he uses, there are elements of medieval chant. Um, there are elements of Sophia Gubadelina. And in fact, when we were um, getting to know this piece and chatting with JP, he said, yeah, of course, I went to Sophia Gubadelina's Duo Sonata, which was written in 1977 and is one of the foundational, fabulous pieces for contemporary bassoon duo. Um, we love it. And we hope you'll listen to our recording of that as well which I can share the link with later. Um, but the creative um, uh, counterpoint that JP uses um, and, and the beautiful rhythms uh, in the faster movements, it is a fun piece. It's fun to listen to. It's fun to play. It's fun to dance to, those faster movements. Um, and then when you get to the third movement, Sarabande, it's this beautiful pad of sound provided by the second bassoon doing multiphonics. And then on top, the first bassoon plays this very mournful, lyrical um, tune, very free, almost chant-like. And then we swap roles and um, go from there. And there's even a little, um, some open improvisation um, in a few areas of this, both in the slow and fast movements. So it is really a creative um, and marvelous, and there's no piece like it for two bassoons. We're just delighted, Lynn and I, to bring this to you um, for the first time. And we sincerely hope to play it for you in person very soon. Now I'd like to introduce the composer, J.P. Dreblo, to share a little further insight on what went into the making of the piece. I'm J.P. Dreblo. I'm a special education teacher and musician from St. Paul, Minnesota. I play in a band called Pool Boy. I write music for short films, and I compose pieces like the one you're about to hear. I want to thank the Dark and the Song team for selecting this, and Lynn and Rachel for working so hard to bring it to life over the last two years. Uh, this piece is called Le Bien, or The Armored Ones, because even writing something inspired by my own journey of recently coming out, I found myself exploring it with 17th century uh, dance forms and uh, people who inspired me, like M.C. Escher and Joan of Arc. I found the real armor of my journey wasn't the closet, it was the toughness of others, especially queer people, shielding me and helping me get through this confusing and joyful thing called life. I hope you hear some of that in Le Blanc or The Armored Ones.
Thank you so much for that. And thank you, JP, for your wonderful um, music. It's really an incredible piece to play. The fact that you have a deep personal story that you're expressing through your art, um, that always makes for the best music in my, in my opinion <laughs> and experience. So thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, and again, we invite other bassoonists to um, contact JP or contact us and buy a copy of the music. Um, so that's how we support our composers is by purchasing their music. We are Tuple. That's my colleague Lynn Heilman and myself, Rachel Elliott on bassoon. And um, speaking of supporting us, we have our recent album is called Darker Things from 2019 and, and releasing in a record at the end of 2019 with the intention to tour in March of 2020. So we've had a little bit of a delayed release around Darker Things, but it's out, it's available. Um, I mentioned Sofia Gubadalina's Duo Sonata. That's one of the tracks on this, as well as Mark Melitz's Black, an incredible piece by the Dutch composer Hiel Meiering called Nocturnal Residence. Um, and the final two are Louis, Louis Andreessen's Lacrimosa. And if you enjoy J.P. Dreblo's slow movements, that lacrimosa has some similar sound world with quarter tone pitch bending, incredible um, counterpoint for the two bassoons. And finally, Michael Doherty's Bounce. Thank you all for attending this and we'll separate the tracks out on YouTube next so that you can go hear the pieces individually. But thanks for joining us for this live premiere by Tuple. See you soon.